All right, today we're going to show you the features and usage of the SE1000W programming tool. Uh, the part number is RLPROG01, and this was developed to eliminate the need for a laptop uh, computer when you're out in the field updating readers and programming and configuring readers and modules. So today I'm going to show you how to do the firmware updates, I'm going to show you how to configure, configure the readers, and then I'm going to show you how to configure the module as well. To begin the firmware update, disconnect the serial connection and the power from the Wigan interface module. This unit can be powered up while you do the update um, because you are disconnected from the module and therefore not supplying power to the reader. Step one would be to plug in the serial port of the reader, the serial cable of the reader to the serial port of the programmer. Turn on the programmer. There's the version number right there. Update firmware. Select that. Press enter to start. It's now looking for the reader, so you want to power the reader up. And once the module, the programming module detects the reader, it'll start updating it automatically and you'll see a readout of what percentage it's complete. Once complete, the reader is going to go back into operation mode and start reading tags again. Next, we're going to configure the reader to um, read a specific population of tags. So, navigate down to the config menu, press enter, and here we have your menu options. So you have infinity only, we'll only we'll configure the reader to only read infinity RFID provided tags. Uh, the next option down would be infinity RFID tags plus tags made by Sirit and 3M. And then you have several options for ending the, the process. So the first thing we're gonna do is program this reader for infinity only. So go ahead and select infinity only, click start. You'll notice that the reader is now in program mode. You've got a blue LED on the face of the reader indicating that it's in programming. And you can see where it went through and continued the, uh, the programming by the lines of the script. Um, if you want to go back in operation and tests, you can either power cycle the reader by unplugging the power, plug it back in, the reader will go back into reading. To program the Wigan interface module, select the adapter cable. This would go to the serial port of the tool, and will also go to the serial port of we can interface. So connect those together, so here to here. Put the module in program mode, which is switch 1-6 at the end. Turn on your programmer. Select configs. Scroll all the way to the bottom to either S2W Infinity or S2W 3M compatible. For here we want to do Infinity only. Hit center, and it'll write the program to the module. Once it's done, it'll tell you that it's complete. You can go back, turn the programmer off, and then the Chroma Primer back in operation and connect up the module. And now you're back and running. All right, next I'll show you how you use the Wigan test function. Go ahead and turn your programmer on. Scroll down the menu to Wigan test. Select Read Weekend, and now it's looking for a, a Weekend ID coming across. Take your adapter cable, the one that has the white, green, and black. Go ahead and plug one end of the adapter cable into the top of the programmer. 
And then go ahead and remove the, the Wiegand connector from your S2W. Plug it in to the S2W. And then take your tag, your test tag, and put it in front of the reader. So you should get your red and your orange LEDs on the Wiegand module. Orange indicating that uh, Wiegand is coming out from your Wiegand port. Red indicating data is coming from the reader. And then which displays on the screen should match what you programmed or what's programmed on the tag. So this is Pacifico 12. This is ID number 40351. So everything matches. That means our Wiegand is working and uh, fully tested. Okay, one last thing I want to show you is because we use batteries in our RLP ROG01 programmer, um, we built in a battery test function. So to test the battery, go ahead and um, scroll all the way down to the last item in the menu, which is battery. Click on that, and it's going to give you an up-to-date um, status of the battery. So right now you can see it's good, and you can see the voltage we're putting out. So um, just make sure it says good. If it says anything other than good, what you would do is turn off the, the unit, turn it over, and you can see there's four screws. Undo the four screws, and there's a battery pack of AA batteries inside. Go ahead and replace the batteries, put the screws back in, put it back together, and then go ahead, retest it, and uh, you, that should be good to go.